Um, uh, first one on the economy. Um, sure. As you know, uh, the, the stock market's up today, the U.S. stock market. Um, so I was wondering if the White House thought the sell-off on Monday was just a blip or if it signaled any sort of broader tor turmoil in the global economy. So, as you know, we're very mindful uh, when it comes to uh, to the stock market. But what I will say is, um, look, and I said this yesterday and I'll say it again today, while there's been some volatility, uh, our economy is indeed resilient. The data shows this. I ticked off the data, as you have heard me say before. Uh, unemployment is still low at 4.3 percent, created nearly 16 million jobs, including more than 170,000 jobs per month over the last three months. Inflation is down 2.5 percent. Wages are up. They are rising faster than the prices, uh, pr faster than the prices for 14 months in a row. That's important. Um, and J GDP grew 2.8 percent last quarter with consumers resilient and business investment up more than 5% and expectations are for growth to remain solid this quarter. What we are going to continue to do as people ask what we're, what we're uh, focused on for the next five months or so is making sure that we continue to build on those on those successes for middle class families, working families, and that is incredibly important. Let's not forget we got to continue to work on capping uh, prescription prescription drugs. This is something that the president was able to do uh, via the Inflation Reduction Act, where we are now able to negotiate. Uh, Medicare is able to negotiate with pharmaceuticals, and we expanded health care. So those are the things that we want to continue to do: rebuilding infrastructure, uh, businesses investing nine billion dollars in manufacturing and clean energy. Those are the things that we want to uh, focus on, uh, taking, taking on price gouging. And while uh, Republicans in the House are doing the complete opposite, they want to cut Social Security, which of course would raise, uh, raise costs for American families, and they want to give tax cuts to billionaires and corporations. That is not our focus. That's not what we agree on. And you have seen what we have done the last three and a half years, and certainly we're going to keep uh, building on that. As it relates to your question, our econ economic team is going to continue monitoring developments. That's what they do, and keeping the President and the Vice President updated. 